Hello everybody, it's Friday, that means it's time for another topic of the week. So, first things first, last week's topic on playing it painted. Oh my goodness, so many responses. Wow, overwhelming responses. People had some opinions on this. Uh, so, all those videos are linked in last week's video, which is of course linked down below. Uh, the Sustainable Center, by the way, Ant is back to the name The Sustainable Center on his channel, so good choice. Uh, he had a great response. Doom had a good response. Doom and Darkness. Uh, there was Victor had a response. There was many, <laughs> very many, more than I'm listing. Uh, and you know, there was a lot of really interesting opinions both there and in the discussion. And I think that uh, one of the things that was the most interesting to me in the conversation was a lot of people seem to want like to have their own armies painted. Okay, I think it's generally true that most everybody wants to have their army painted and will seek to sort of do so. As, you know, some are slow, some are fast, whatever. And that in the end, everybody would prefer, so everybody would like to have their own model painted and most people are aiming at getting there, you know, moving along that road. And most people would prefer to play a painted army, which also makes sense. But very few people would refuse to play, you know, unless the enemy army was painted. Which, again, really makes the most logical sense. You want to, you know, I, as, as, you know, many people said, I'd rather have the game than not. Like, that's why I did this ostensibly and painted all these figures to have the game. If my opponent doesn't have painted miniatures, then so be it. You know, I'd rather they did, but I'd rather a lot of things. And I don't always get that in life. Um, you know, it also was interesting, the sort of distinction on the tournaments there. And as I suspected, there's sort of a different feeling when you get to tournaments, right? Because there's sort of a feeling like you've paid for the investment into this thing. And the idea that the tournament would have restrictions or rules or, or strong incentives or, you know, something that makes people need to want to show up with a painted army... I think most people were pretty fine with, um, which I agree. Like, if the tournament is meant to be, like, I'm my normal game that I get on is free in my basement. If somebody buddy shows up, wants to test an army, wants to proxy something, wants to just have something new, any of a hundred good reasons why the figs aren't painted, that's fine. Who cares? But if I go to a tournament and we're all paying to get there and traveling, I'd like to have five good games against cool-looking armies. It's one of the reasons that tournaments can be special. So. Good responses. Check out that video, like I said, link down below. This week's topic. So, what I want to talk about this week is sort of kind of all about your cell phone. Uh, and specifically, I want to talk about the release of the Citadel Paint app tomorrow. So, the Citadel Paint app launches tomorrow, and I, I read a couple reviews of it, and people who've downloaded it already, because I think you can download it um, right now. And it... I think it officially launches tomorrow, but they kind of snuck it out there today. Um, it's really interesting how full-featured it is, and obviously over time they plan to add a lot more con to it, content to it, like having more models painted that you can you know click on the little thing and see what colors are being used, and more technique explanations, etc. So I look forward to watching that grow, and it's cool that it's committed to being free. Um, probably the best feature I saw in there, and it's something that I think is should be easier, is like you hold your phone at something, you take a picture of that thing, you select it, and it'll tell you what colors best match that thing. So I thought that was really cool. I like that. Um, because I think that's something that a lot of people, especially newer painters, have a big challenge with, is like, what color do I use? You know, they're looking at, at any paint range, by the way, it's not just GW, they're looking at any paint range and it's, you know, two, three, four, five hundred colors of paints and they're like, uh, it's overwhelming. Wait, which one makes this blue? Like, I don't know, like, I see 20 blues. Which is the blue I need, right? So, some direction is probably helpful. Um, so, my question is, one, are you going to use the Citadel Paint app? And, you know, do you like it? Have you seen it? Check it out. Um, I'll link a review down below so you can go read through all the features if you haven't seen anything about it yet. Um, I'll throw a review down there in the comments that kind of walks through all the has screenshots and all the different features. And 
but secondly, do you use your phone to, uh, you know, interacting with painting your miniatures? Maybe it's taking pictures of your, your minis to get a better idea of how your paint job is working, uh, which is a slight tip. I've, I don't know if I've ever really mentioned in a hobby video, but boy, is it good to do. Um, it is amazing what your eyes will not see physically holding a miniature that just taking a picture of it will like instantaneously reveal. I don't know why this is. I'm sure there's something scientific behind it. I don't know what it is, um, but I know it's a case. Or do you use any kind of other paint tracker app? Because there are a couple out there in the app store right now, um, some paid, some not. Do you find it useful to record your paint recipes in your phone, to uh, have some kind of paint app to track what your recipes are, what paint you have, etc.? How are you using your phone when it comes to your painting? There you go. That's the topic of the week. So, interested as always in your feedback, throw your comments down below. Always like to read through and respond to the discussion. And uh, as always, if you make a response video, I'll link that down there too. So you can always come back to this video and see all those responses. But as always, thanks for watching. Look forward to the discussion and we'll see you next time.